Uh, yeah, I think we went down a good path um, during that time. I thought we progressively got better uh, this weekend, and that's at this time of year, uh, that's what you need. And the team, when I said, hey, that's a 30-year season already, 10 out of 31 matches, they were like, wow. You know, it seems we're like we're just into it, but when you have so many opportunities early, you need to make sure you take uh, advantage of it. And I thought we did that um, this weekend. Um, played very well at times, but steady most of the time, which is, I think, very important over when you have three matches in two days. Talk a little bit about the match tonight. Jump out 25-13 first set, but then Wyoming comes back, makes the second two sets a lot harder for you. Yeah, we knew they, uh, uh, we got them back on their heels a little bit, I think, the first set, but we knew they would respond just like they did all weekend. And, hey, that's a very good volleyball team. You know, they came in 8-0 and and on a pretty good run, and uh, they present certain problems because their system's a little bit different than what you see. They play a little more fast break and off speed than, than you might see, but uh, I thought when we needed to at key points of both of those second and third set, we dug a bunch of ball, transition killed, and uh, that kind of put us in a good situation to win those two. Uh, talk a little bit about what you saw from Wyoming's defense. Uh, at the net, they outblocked you 5-1. to one. It seemed like it kind of gave you fits there. Your hitting percentage went down each of the three sets. Uh, five blocks is not a lot to have against you, but one is obviously a, a poor number. But what they do when, they, when they, they run hitters in your zones, they're trying to get one-on-one -on -one matchup. So you got to win the dig battle in that situation, and that's what we did. So even though we weren't stopping them at the net a lot, we were digging balls up and transitioning for kills. So we still thought that was pretty acceptable. How about Riley in the back row? Speaking of digs, 21 in a three-set sweep. That's pretty impressive. She's, uh, she does, uh, and they're timely too. Uh, they're at uh, key points, and um, we think she's playing as good a level as what we've seen in a long time at that position, so hopefully she'll continue. Um, I mean, I felt like I did really well. Um, I've just been working on like eliminating errors, and I definitely think that worked. Uh, offense behind the setter uh, this week was definitely something that was really working for the team, So, and that's my strongest um, hit, so we were just rolling with the wides and the zips. Uh, how did the match tonight differ from the match last night against Arizona State? Um, I think it was just more like balance on the court. Um, there was, they had us, I think that uh, Wyoming had a bigger block, so it was kind of to speed it up and definitely dig transition because um, they're just like a really physical team. So we had to be able to be like out play them with our speed as well. So how did you adjust when they did like the three man block or whatnot up at the net? It was kind of a game Coach B said that your team wasn't familiar with usually? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, our outsides are so physical that it's like even with three blockers, they put in like the, I think the 6-6 six, six right side and um, our, our outsides can just use hands and go high. Like we have Kathy and Sarah swinging really high and that helps a lot as well as when we have uh, Taylor and I in the front being active, it's, it's more of a struggle for them to get three blockers up because they got to track the middles. And then how did your defense help you out tonight? I know Brian Riley had 21 digs tonight. I mean, Bree's just ridiculous, and I don't know how she does it. But her and I are a uh, united front. She, she takes the back row, and I take the front row. And she, um, I mean, everybody, though, it's not just Bree. Like, everyone was just so focused and well-disciplined that defense was great. Uh, what would you guys learn about yourselves during the seven-game homestand? Um, that we're just like, we're an elite team and we can't, we don't or should never doubt ourselves and that this year we are going to be a game finishing team. Um, pressure is something that we shouldn't feel because we should always have control on our side.